All right, I've done sinks to pours. I've done turntables. I've never done a sinks to pour on a turntable. I've, it, I've been wondering about this for a while now since I had the, the little turntable. Oh, turntable. It's like a cake decorator thing. I, think, I don't remember where Debbie found it. Online somewhere. Got ball bearings. I have the wood board because it'll hold a 12 by 12 canvas that way. I don't need anything to actually hold the canvas onto the board. It pretty much stays. You don't spin it fast enough where it's going to fly off. So, let's do a sink strainer pour and figure out colors. Make sure there's clearance. Spin, right? Okay. <laughs> Make sure there's clearance. All the way around it. Colors. These two combined. Combined. The reason for all this is I'm doing a real time. Oh, real <laughs> I'll be doing another demo in September in Hopeworks, and this is something I haven't tried yet. It's the turntable with the sink strainer. So I'm going to start doing it through the sink strainer and then start spinning as I go, and hopefully it'll come out in like a spiral effect more than just a sink strainer. So that's what I'm trying for right now. Now, as you can see, there's some lines and spots and dots and stuff in it. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not really going to touch it. Usually, I float them around a little bit. I'll pick up the, the canvas and tip it to the corners and stuff. But this came out really, really nice, and I don't want to mess with that, even with the uh, the food over there. So I'm just going to leave this. It's probably going to take about two or three days to dry because it's really, really thick. Uh, you saw it going in. It's a little bit too thick. I want them to be a little bit runnier, but eh, it is what it is. I haven't done one of these in a while. And the thickness is just not there. But it came out really cool with the vibrant colors. So we're going to let this uh, park on a shelf for a while and dry, and then I'll seal it.
Now I got a light on, so it's a little bit bright and glary. Hold on, because they're still wet. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Now, it didn't cover the center. It could be a clock. You can make something like this into a clock, but that's how it works. And it didn't cover that one edge. I tried tipping it, but the paint's already starting to set, and I didn't want to, to uh, disrupt that design any more than it already is. <laughs> oh, it's pretty disrupted, huh? So that corner is going to, or that corner, <laughs> every edge, every circle has a corner. So that side is going to remain just blank. Wasn't that pretty cool? Now you saw how I tipped a little bit and elongated the pattern coming out this way. Just to kind of, again, cover the disc a little bit. You could have wet the disc with paint first. I didn't. I just used a dry disc. I'll be doing demos like this in September. Uh, wooden disc will dry a lot faster. It's a lot prettier of a design. And round is really cool with the sink strainer pour because it's a round design coming out. So that's the end of that. I will post a picture and clean up this mess.